Kim from the Quilt Pro Studio Chicks. And today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of some of the amazing things that Quilt Pro can do for you. Quilt Pro is a great program that has lots of amazing features that allow you to create your own original design quickly, easily, and best of all, print out detailed instructions, including the yardage you need, the cutting instructions, everything that you need so that you can take this quilt from a digital design to a real world design and then have a finished project. So let's get started. Just to start out with, this is the basic Quilt Pro screen that comes up. This part right here where I've got my mouse is called the design wall. And this is where you actually do your work. This is a virtual design wall. If you have a design wall at home where you put quilt blocks up, you're familiar with the concept. This is the same idea. This is where we build our quilts. All of the actions that you do in Quilt Pro, you do using your mouse. And you can see my, uh, my mouse pointer floating around here. There's a really awesome little box right here that you notice is flashing as I move around, and that gives you exactly where your position of your mouse is. Um, it's pretty handy to know if you're trying to be really precise when you're dropping things. So just to go over really quickly, we're gonna start at the top here. So right here, it tells me that I am in Quilt Pro. This is the name of the file that I have open, and then this percentage right here tells you at what percentage you're viewing this quilt. So I'm looking at it at 35%. Um, as we go across here, here's the normal functions, file, edit, effects. A lot of these are you've used before if you've used any kind of a computer program. File is where you open, save, close, import, exit, the print centers here. Edit, it's all the same normal functions that you've used in other programs. Effects has a little bit more um, specific to Quilt Pro. And we'll go into more of this later. The quilt, this is a place that you can open your quilt wizard, which is what you use to create new quilts. Options, this has to do with the options that are available on this screen. And there's a lot of different settings. The window, this is the size of the window that you're looking at. This is where you have options for that. And then here's your help tab, super useful. Here's a user's manual. And then if you click on this, it opens your Quilt Pro Assistant, which is actually this window right here. As you can see, it says Quilt Pro Assistant. And it's like a virtual manual. It has everything you need to run Quilt Pro is right here. Any questions you have, everything's answered right here. This area right here on the screen is called the ribbon bar. And it has buttons on it that has that are just the different functions you use with Quilt Pro. This is where you can open a new file. This is where you can easily open your quilt wizard. If you want to go to the quilt gallery and just look at gallery of quilts that are available that are already made, they're right here. This smaller one with the little one next to it is the block wizard. And the block wizard uh, is where you can build your own original blocks. Here we have the quilt label button, which is awesome. As quilters, we all know we should label our quilts so that everyone knows who, where, when, how, and what they were made for. Here's a button that opens and then one that closes files. And here's a save button so you can save your files. A lot of these are the same functions that are actually found here on the file um, button, but they're just shortcuts to them right here. Here's an undo button a redo button so you can go back and forth. Here's a button that takes you straight to the print center. Here's a delete button. And then there's a cut, copy, and paste button so that you can cut, copy, or paste items around on your design wall. This is the snapshot button, which allows you to take, essentially take a, a picture or a snapshot of whatever you're working on so you can refer back to it later without having to save multiple files. And then this is a really great button. It takes you straight to the Quilt Pro website. So if you haven't downloaded your block of the day or you want to download the new quilt of the month, you can click this button and it'll take you straight there. And this button is a lifesaver. If your Quilt Pro assistant over here, you accidentally hit the X and you turn it off, you can click this button right here and it is right back where it belongs. We love the Quilt Pro assistant. This next part of the screen is called the status bar and this gives you the status of 
what you're working on. So this tells you here whether you're working on a block or a quilt. This, like I mentioned earlier, tells you the position of your mouse. This tells you how many items you have selected. So if you're selecting multiple items and moving them around, it lets you know right there. And then you can actually choose the layer that you're working on. You can work on the base, which is the main part of the quilt. You can work on applique, or you can work on stencil, which are actually quilting designs that you can import out of this program and take to a computerized long arm machine um, and use that way, or even print out and create your own stencil if you quilt that way. So that's what the, you, you can click this and only the layer that you're actually working on will be visible. This right here hides the patch outlines after you've created a quilt, which is something we'll play with later. And then this part of the status bar tells you what color you currently have selected from the color palette. And if you look, the color palette is right down here along the bottom of the screen. And you can scroll along and see um, the different colors that are available to use. And you can actually change that color palette. And then this is the toolbar and it's a floating toolbar and you can move it around wherever you want it. There are also rulers along both sides of it so that you can know exactly at what position you're working on the quilt and how big your quilt is. So if you're working on a really large quilt, obviously these numbers are gonna be um, a little smaller and a little more squished together, but that's what tells you right there. Um, and once again, over here, this window is the Quilt Pro Assistant. If I have a question on uh, my color palette, we were just talking about that. If I want to change my color palette and I want to learn how to show and hide it, I can click on this topic right here and it will go straight to it. Now, if I wanted to stay on this so I can come over here and move it around, I leave this button right here checked that says locked. That will hold it on this specific topic and it doesn't go back and forth. If I want this to follow me as I go around the screen, I take the locked off. And then if I come over here and I hold this over one of my other items, it will automatically change to one of the other things that I am looking at. So as you can see here, as I hover over the button, it will change to whatever that button is and it will explain how that is done. Well, that's just a basic overview of what's on your screen when you open Quilt Pro. I'm really excited for you to start using this program and I wanna thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our new tutorials and thanks so much for watching.